Welcome back to part two of Let's Tear Apart Oil Filters for the Massey GC. So in the first video, I tore four filters apart and showed you the internals. In this video, I've added one filter to the mix. This should be one that is very compatible spec-wise and very competitive uh, filtering media-wise uh, to the Denso model that's uh, spec for the Massey GC1723 and 1725. So we're going to cut these open, this open in this video, just like the other ones. And we're also going to stretch out the filter media and measure the, the area, total filter area in this video. Now that we have this Bosch cut open, let's look at the inside. So here's the uh, gasket. Here's the top. And so I'll set that aside. Here is the uh, anti-drain back valve, which is very similar to the 722 Agco and also the Wix. Uh, but you can see much smaller than the Denso and sort of the Denso is a lot flimsier. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute, at least as far as what I know. So here's the filter media. Okay. Uh, it's definitely a little bigger uh, than the Denso, way bigger than 722 or Wix. And we'll cut these open and stretch them out. And then you can see it's about uh, almost as tall as the Fram, uh, but I suspect it's got more pleats. Uh, and then it's got a stamp leaf spring in it. Then all five side by side here, uh, you can see uh, that Bosch is substantially bigger um, than any uh, of the re the good ones here. I'm kind of rolling out the Fram, giving it no love here. Uh, but uh, the anti-drain back, I guess the importance of that is so that the oil filter retains oil after you shut the engine off so that on startup, there is some filtered oil setting in the outer rim of the canister ready to you know go into the engine. Uh, so it's good to have a good seal on your anti-drain back. Um, in the previous video, though, I talked about this spring as if this is like the pressure relief. That's that's wrong. So there's a couple of designs here. So the leaf part of these three filters really just suspends the filter some from the, um, the back of the casing. Um, in... The Denso in the Fram, there's actually a spring mechanism I'll show you in a minute, and that's the bypass. The bypass in the Bosch, the Agco, and the Wix is built into this metal casing. So let me uh, show you that. Yeah, so starting with the Fram, you can see there's a, a spring here, right? That is the, the, the pressure relief valve. Um, so I guess this fits up in the filter like that. And if it needs to bypass, actually, I might have that wrong. No, nope, no, that's right. So it fits up in like that. And if it needs to bypass, you know, the, the spring is set at a certain pressure. Um, the spring actually in the Wix and the Agco, it's inside. So see this here? Check this out. That's the Wix. This is the Agco. So that's sealed, uh, like really well, I guess. Uh, whereas the Denso relies on this pressure fit uh, for bypass relief. So it seems like some oil could get by there, maybe. Um, I'm not really sure. That's uh, seems like it's a it's the design method of the Fram, uh, and it just doesn't seem like it's sealed all that well. But the Bosch, it's the same thing. Look, it's got the integrated, same as the Wix and the Agco. This bypass is integrated there. So there's no way that oil is going to uh, bypass the bypass uh, until it reaches the right pressure. Then one quick thing to note, the filter media is held together on the Wix and the Agco with this metal uh, cleat. Um, on the Fram... It is, I guess, glued. On the Denso, it is also glued. You can see it right there at the seam. 
on the Bosch, I guess it's glued. This looks like this is the end of the filter media, but I can't quite tell. Well, cutting that, those open was uh, interesting. Uh, we've got the Denso, uh, Wix, Agco, Fram, and then Bosch top down. Uh, you can see the Denso is by far the longest. Uh, it's also got the most uh, area. I'll put those calculations up on the screen right now for each of these and freeze frame it for you. So there you go. Uh, so what's the conclusion here? Um, I don't know, man. I'll let you all draw your own conclusion. That Bosch is a pretty good one. I thought there would be a little more filtering media. Uh, the Fram's actually a really good one. I'll bet you the, uh, the higher, like the XG model Fram is, uh, is a good filter. Uh, that might be worth looking at. Maybe I should have bought one of those. Uh, but certainly, man, look at that Denso. Uh, that is not a bad filter. Uh, the only thing, maybe if you don't like the way that bypass valve seats in the bottom, you think there's some leakage or something, uh, but that seems to be a pretty common design. i tell you, that Wix, there's really not much filtering media there at all on the Wix or the Agco, but you know, even though they appear to be the same filter, um, the Agco is a little longer, and in my first video, I did count an extra, uh, an extra pleat, so, yeah, so I think that'll about wrap it up for this one. All right, that is it. We are done with the oil filters. I'm going to clean this mess up and move on. But what am I going to do in the future? I'm going to stick with the Denso. I think it's a good filter. Uh, it costs a little more, but at least it's not an inferior or doesn't appear to be an inferior product for the money. Maybe you're paying a little extra to pad the dealer or pad Agco or, you know, whatever. I don't care. It's a good filter. It's what they recommend. I'm going to stick with it. You do you. And I would love to see in the comments uh, what you're doing, uh, what filter you're using, or if anything I've presented in this video or the prior video change your mind or change your perspective. So post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Next up, if you're watching in the background, I've got some hydraulic oil. So we're going to get that tested. Uh, that might take a little while though. So, but you guys stay tuned. We're going to get that sent off, get that stuff tested and I'll do a video on that really soon. So I appreciate you watching. Take care.